30-year-old Gabriel Cooper, a criminal his entire adult life, prison time for stolen property, motor vehicle, fleeing police, and now this. Charged with robbing and raping three women in Detroit since September, two while he was listed as an absconder from parole. We've got to do a better job of preventing crimes from people that are on parole. It happens way too often. This is wrong. And I think that we really have to take a look at the whole system and prioritize. But if they are given a break and they mess it up, let's get them and let's get them fast so they don't commit again. Fox 2 legal analyst Charlie Langton says so many people are on parole and so few are supervising them. So often absconders like Cooper aren't picked up. And listen to the damage this guy is accused of doing while he should have been behind bars. On September 26th on Finkel, it's alleged he ran up behind a woman, put a knife to her throat, took her behind an abandoned building, and raped her, robbed her. On December 29th, on Plainview, he's accused of kidnapping a woman while she shoveled snow, robbed, and raped her at gunpoint. The most recent rape here on Roselawn, just a few days ago, a woman says she met him online, invited him over, and that's when he robbed her and raped her. Cooper was listed as a parole absconder on October 1st, 2012, just days after that attack on Fenkel. But that's not all. Cooper was charged with rape and kidnapping back in June of 2011, accused of raping an acquaintance at Knife Point in an abandoned house. He said they had consensual sex at a motel. The case was ordered dismissed at the request of the prosecutor because of credibility issues with the alleged victim. Now there are three more alleged victims and one man, prosecutors say, responsible for these heinous crimes. These are the types of people that a light bulb should go off. Let's get these people. Why? Because these are the people that are most likely to go out and repeat a crime. And in this case, a rape, not one, not two, but three. This guy should have been in prison. I sense now he will stay in prison. In Detroit, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.